general. It, it's some things like with my son, right? Like even with the damn time, I'm like, dang, I should have took up typing. Because how everything is moving in that way now with the typing and the internet now. But when I was coming out, I was like, that's a joke. I ain't gonna do no typing, that's corny. Yeah. yeah, but now I wish that, that's what I'm saying to you, like your kids coming to you, know how to use computer technology and stuff like that, teaching us now. How to use this? You, yeah, you we just gotta can't dismiss use, it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta accept. You gotta it. use that and be like, how can I reach the kids through this means and this means? Because if y'all notice, a lot of the kids are in the masjid. All right, the older ones is in there. Who are gonna take over if all the older ones is in there and the young ones ain't? Because the masjid, there's no incentive for coming in. See there, though, I'm, I'm blaming, I'm blaming the, the, the adults for that. Because you know you should be bringing your kids. If, they, if there's no kids there, they're not bringing their kids. You know, but the, that, it all starts with money. No, I'm not saying it all starts with money. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. But no, no, I know, I know. But here's the thing: you you get people nowadays, right? I got a friend of mine, a good friend of mine. Like he's a he's a he's a, a real good figure in this community, right? And. He took his shahada. I didn't even know he was Muslim when he first took shahada. I had no idea for like a year. And I asked him, I said, yo, where'd you take shahada? Because I just assumed he was going to come to Master Muhammad. He said, and I went to, um, he went to the farm to Master. And I said, well, why'd you go there? Not that I wanted to, but why you don't come over? We got classes, we got all mm -hmm. this stuff. He said, man, I did go there and the door was locked. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, one, people aren't learning what they need to learn because we not, either we don't have it, or it's not open, or if yeah. it is open, then the people aren't coming because they got all these other influence, whether it's mm -hmm. other people calling deviants and, mm -hmm. you know, what? like we have all these different forces. It ain't gonna be one application that's gonna work to fix all these things. Yeah, right. that, we, we do have, the one thing in common is everybody broke. <laughs> like that's, that's what we got in common. We can start to fix all those other things Prime and everybody's interest. eating. Permanent and you're not broke. Nah, I, I, all right. I'm, I'm, I ain't broke. I'm broke compared to my white the counterparts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I never got, yo, let me tell you, we, we, we had a dude in here. I, I wish funny, he could have came in. I'm yeah, broke. But the, the, the brother, is a brother, young Pakistani kid, man. Ali, right? right? Yeah, Ali. He's a good dude, man. But he's a little bit younger than me. He's like 30 something. And me compared to him, he killing it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, no, no, nah, nah, he, he flipping houses. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that that that's that's what I came. For. I, I used to do that. He making way more money at that than I was. And so and and part of that conversation that, that me and him had was like, yo, he had generational wealth mm -hmm. to help him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We're we're sitting here, we're wasting time talking about all this other crap. We ain't building no generational wealth. We ain't setting yeah. nothing up. We just now here's the thing. How, who's gonna bring? You can't get mad at parents who don't bring their kids to the masjid when they don't have a reason. If the masjid ain't open, or they don't have an actual reason to bring them in, or then now let's say master my how do we open? They say yo man, bring your kids over to the motor. Man, the motor's bitter doing that. It's so wrong. Well, I mean, I'm <laughs> just saying that's the reason kids ain't in the match. No, I know, I know. That's why. But I'm saying there, we got to create. The kids. We got to create. Yeah, something. We like got to create culture. Yeah. In order to make people want to, yo, I, I give y'all good tips. You know what I'm saying? Like, Wait, I hear you, but like, I, man, look, I tell my son, man, yo, you just go to match it. Like, no, I don't yeah. match. Got to create something for him. And I'm, yo, you, you go in there. But I, don't know, I guess that's just about it. Going back to the families because you were raising it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Y'all two, right, right, right. look, one, two, three. Y'all three are one of the only like three you. dudes that I know. Like, I, I raised my children, but I didn't raise my children one day more. You know what I mean? Like, all y'all married to the same woman forever, and y'all working it as, as a unit, which is good. That is it's impressive. But when you have people that don't come from them backgrounds, mm. And we got to deal with the issues that we have now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, like, I always wished I would have, like, if I go back, I wish I would have planned my my, 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 my my whole marriage and my family and all that. That way I'd be able to say, like, my son would go to the mansion I tell him to go to the mansion. You know, that, that, that's not the issue. The issue is, like, you get people, they coming into Islam, and they already, their kids are already 16 and 17 and 12 mm -hmm. or whatever. And you can't go in there, all right, I took Shahada today. Yo, you gonna put this chemo on, this kufi on, and you gonna go to that mask. And I ain't get the fuck out of here. I'm not doing it. 
You know what I mean? And ain't nothing to do over there. So it's like it's all these different ways that we have to attack the animal. It all to me, it's not that it's all about money, but if you can, if if you can start with the information that it takes for you to improve your situation. You know what I mean? And most people have the same screwed up situation is we ain't making enough money. I don't have money to give you. I might got some time. I barely got the time to come over and help you uh, clean this man. Every year, a good example. CJ know from the Jamaat that I, we was associated with, every year we would have a summer retreat, right? Mm -hmm. And at this retreat, you had to learn 40 on you had to memorize it, right? You had to learn how to read Quran, you had to learn the Esma or Kusnes with the heart, you had to learn a good portion of the Quran. Uh, married to uh, rulings, right? How did he fit? Because that's what the majority was. And uh, Akita, all that was in 40 days. We had to stay on this land. Listen to this. And we had to stay there. This was in South Carolina, right? York, South Carolina. And we had to stay there. We had to pitch tents, stuff like that. We had to make Wudu and Gusu the old, the classical one. Because you ain't going in nobody else. So we had to get like a bucket of water, you know, like a little bucket mm -hmm. of water. Then you had to learn all that stuff, but I've been to that twice, and I appreciate that. You get it? So I had an effect on me. Mm -hmm. and, and now, my kids, you get it? You see what I'm saying? Give them a sedative, you do hiking, they play sports. This all just Muslims now. Man. Now, I actually agree with that. that. That thing that that community does, that little thing right there, yeah. is definitely, like, really... Um, we don't have that in the, in the city. One of the best efforts I think American Muslims ever like put forward, you know mm -hmm. what I mean, as far as the idea of Muslims living together, you know, us isolated from um, pop, American pop culture. Yeah, um, none of that was allowed. None what what, what kind of happened with that? What, what's it still happens now. It's an right, right. Islamic retreat, they have it every year. No, I mean, yeah. those, those, uh, yeah. those communities, and they're still thriving? Yeah, they're, they're still, still thriving. How much you pay to go there? I paid, it was two twenty five for 40 days, but they I'm all, I'm all for that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree that we gotta get rid of get away from the inner city if we really wanna like, Yeah, but that yeah, that's no, no, so that, the reason why you, far out though. So I, the reason why that's useful is because it takes away the computer, the television and all the other things and they really home in on the uh Islamic aspect of I'm one saying thing about their group though, they have a leader. They do. Yeah, they do. They no, no, they had whether they like you or not. Yeah, they, 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 they had a leader. They have a leader. Right, but they had instructors for multiple classes. Like they didn't have one guy teaching everything. You get it? They had I mean, guy it was one guy. It was one guy who gave out orders. All right. Yeah. You, you all open up this. You know, yeah, there was one guy that did that. Right. Saying. Like, but that's like, insane. Guy that taught fake organization was one guy. The guy that taught marriage to uh, information. That was one guy. You get it? Hadith. Oh, that yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about the overall. No, he's saying that, overall. that to me is more. It's more to that. That that it's more structure. It's more to that than just like uh, you know what we're talking about. That thing is like. Uh, and then you know what the best part at the end of the night because we had to get up for we had to get up at, at before Fajr, right? Do Tajr. We would have to do uh, uh, pray to Fajr because we would do Tajr and then we would do a Zikr, like a Zikr right. up to Fajr. And then we would do Friday, then we do PT, which is physical training, right? And then at the end of the day, they would have these Q and A sessions, and all the people from different locations, right? Because everybody would be at this area. Was people from Canada, te Texas, right? And we would know because they they would wear the hats mm. and the uh, <laughs> the muscle just to be smart. Uh, let them know that they were from Texas, and they would do these Q and As at the end. And, and a lot of you, you'll find out like a lot of people had like issues and they, was, they felt relief because it was getting addressed. And then you got a support system with you, meaning you got brothers that would be like, man, you know what I mean? We got you and stuff like that. And then call you when, when it was done and over, they call you and say, how are you doing? So, so you still keeping up with this and you still keeping up with that. Let me hear a song. Let me hear. Now, uh, now this is a question I got right as far as with that community. How is the average person supporting themselves? Like living with living in there. No, we would take vacations from our jobs. Like most of them was working, but we would take a vacation. All right, so nobody that actually lives in that. In oh that. yeah, they did. People lived in. All right, so land. I'm talking about the people that live in there. I'm, I guess I'm kind of getting a little bit off. They, they, I'm, I'm interested in that. Like they work too. They work too, like jobs. Like, all right, so 
What's the setup? Are they like uh, they outside of the city, right? It's like, yeah, they would work outside of the land that they lived on. All right, so they just kind of travel to the city. Yeah, right. So typically, right. like the land is like close to a, to a big city or something. Yeah, like that. but it wouldn't be that close. You so, so tell, what they? How far are they driving? About an hour. About, yeah, something about like that. Every day go to work. Some, some places would be a half an hour. Some would be hour. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but the land that they live on wasn't close to like city areas like that. Yeah, what they did was bought land back in the 70s. Mm -hmm. and they started developing on the land. They all took, they got a collective, it started out with the Darwin Islam movement. Right, right. And then it turned into that, mm -hmm. which was uh, Muslims of America. Yeah. Yeah, and they got that. And they got them in different areas. Yeah, yeah, I know that general, you know what I mean, story, but like I, I never heard, I was just too, I never too heard too much about like the typical day to day life. What it's like inside, you know. Yeah, they pray yeah. like five, they got, they call it uh, Yeah, 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 I mean, you know, I'm not figuring, I'm trying to figure out, you know, how they, how they support it. Because, like, something like that, I think. Oh, they support it because what Yasil said, like you said, they, everybody that work, like, even the ones that live in the city, like myself, we would pay 10% on our check towards them. See what I'm saying? That's when people would actually give up their money. Like, because it's like, you're talking about an actual, Village or something that I can see. Yeah, I, just like I pay my rent in my house. Like that. Yeah, I pay for that. That's, that's why I, I see. I see what you're talking about. That's why I know what he said works because I seen it with my own eyes. It's not the same thing. It is. It's not it's the same thing, man. What, what, what I'm thing, saying man. is, I can say, uh, like, let me say, let's say somebody we own an apartment complex or just a big apartment building or whatever. But that goes back to what you're saying. Let's say we own an apartment building right. and we only rent it out to Muslims. That's different. Now you you won't get the money from them like that because this is actually this is encompassing kind of my whole life. The community is my whole life. Right, right, say, say, just, say for instance, we did with Iman. I like that idea with Iman Fahim said about. All right, say it's a block, it's a it's a, a building complex on this block, right? Yeah. And, and uh, Caucasian do it to us with gentrification, right? All right, we bought that house. Mm -hmm. Then we 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 got Muslims in there. This all of us living in there. We saving our money in this pot. We buy the next portion out next to it, and the next portion, and the next. Now we got a whole block. Yeah, but see, that is see, what I'm see that, that joint though. Like yeah. that can work, but somebody, some two, three, four people got to start it. Then other people see it. Then I think it gets. Yeah, but that's what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, 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 yeah. my, my, my whole point. My, I remember I said in the beginning. I said, Yo, everything ain't for everybody. Like when I use a basketball reference, my thing was. It gotta take a few people to start yeah, it. Yeah. And the, the first way to start it, one, I can't start asking for neither one of y'all to start putting money in a pot with me until y'all stuff is straight. Yeah. That's why I said if you learn how learn how to get money, how to save it, then we form the corporation and then we start it, we start moving, we get our building. Now we open it up, now y'all can come in and move in. And now we're looking for investors to go start another building. Mm -hmm. That's how it grow. My thing is, we we yo we 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 did before we started doing our talks, right? This is how this started, right? I don't even know if you know this. So I got a cousin that's in the nation this time, right? Real good dude. So he calls me, and they were doing they're doing their own barbershop talk thing, right? So they came here, and they set the camera up, and it was like we're gonna do barbershop talk, blah 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 blah. The niggas start talking all the same old old school fair kind of shit, like yeah. I need you. He started getting the whole preacher voice and all that crap. He's yelling in here. He's like, he, he say how he said, "Yo, I need all the barbershop owners to cut your store in half and and put a put a a, 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 a bodega in your store and start selling clothes and socks and stuff." I'm like, if you don't get out of here with that crap, nobody's doing it. And he's like, "Well, why not? You know, our people, the community can come here." I said, "Do you really think if I sold socks in here?" People want to stop going to Walmart and get their socks in. I say like, come on, nobody. I can't beat Walmart price. You know what I mean? And I'm not gonna have the same amount of inventory. So my thing is, if we lose, we we gotta let go of that old school mm -hmm. thinking and and start figuring out, all right, how do we get money on a global landscape, and how do we how we make money globally, and how we reinvest it in our community. It was something tangible, like yeah, you know. That's, that's what I'm talking about. about the tangible, yeah. tangible investment. I'm gonna teach that's you. That's what makes people go with money. I'm, I'm gonna teach you. This is how you can fix your credit. Credit is not haram. 
You know what I'm saying? Buying stock is not on horizon. That's the that having a mortgage. What house you gonna get a house? You can get a mortgage. You ain't gonna come up with two hundred fifty grand. So or it might be around, but on, uh, out of necessity. Yeah, out of necessity. We don't. Yeah, not, not, I didn't say it's not around. I don't know. Yeah. Like I remember the, the it whole, joint definitely. You know. Yeah, I mean, it can, but it, look, man. Like, remember you 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 don't want to send send us that um that uh that fatwa from uh, Ali Jr. Mm -hmm. Right, so it's just like yeah, if you you want to get a fight with something, yeah, if you go get out of jail, man, he 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 one. Yeah, man, <laughs> I mean you you got, you do, but I think that's the problem too. Like we we don't we don't have a central. Yeah. We don't have a central yeah. person or or, like or a, authority, right, right. even if it's just a school or like an organization that's giving rulings for our particular situation. And then yo, did y'all watch the women's <coughs> conversation? We did the whole thing. You gotta watch. Yeah. There's a point, right? Now, all the sisters they 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 did well. They they <laughs> had their peace. Of course, they won't talk about polygamy and all this crap and child support and <laughs> men being men and all this stuff. So, at one point of that conversation, I asked them. I said, "What if we were able to put our own system in play where we had a call, right? Just like of our a call in our communities who was actually trained to give." Islamic judgment. Somebody was like respected. Say like it was yeah, like made or something, right. right? And you was able to go to the Cardi and say, Look, my husband isn't giving me my rights. I need, you know, you to judge this matter. And they judged it. I wasn't asking them if they were okay. I said, Would you be okay accepting the rule yeah, for the Cardi? Right. All them women said no. Yeah. And I said, well, why not? And it's all, first off, who is the person going to be? I said, no, this is not somebody that we're picking. Like, this is somebody, like, this is a real sheikh who's actually trained and they sat with this person and sat with that person. And they're, I said, well, would, if we started to develop our own system, would you take the rulings? They still said no. You know why? Because this system in America is, is developed to give them everything. No, it's not just the women. I, I guarantee you, men, men would do the same crap. Yeah. They don't want it because oh, the reality no is no rule is bad. nobody want no rules and it goes against That's it. What it is. See, see, right. people like that. See, first of all, I don't know. Well, so you don't get the kind of we we, 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 we should like be that, worried about what women get. Like, I mean, I'm right. not happy to be like that, but. Yes, the right, they don't want. Who, who, who cares? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, like, man, the world is watching. You can't say. You can't say. Like, that, I mean, it's the truth. Like, <laughs> women shouldn't even expect us to give them like that. Okay, we're putting it on you to decide whether or not you're going. No. Yeah, I mean, that, you that tell, you, know, everybody tell their wife, their sisters, their daughter, like this is what it is. That's really the only way we do it. But I understand that your yeah. point. Your point is they, they, they're the feeling they have yeah, about it. No, my point really is respect it. Muslims don't really want they don't respect accountability, it. man. Yeah, they want it. they want little see, pieces uh, of it. Don't understand. Yeah, they, 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 that's, almost, that's, a, that's, a, that's almost cool for everybody. But Muslims never had the opportunity yeah. to have that's accountability. Real, that's real. Because like, you live in an Islamic society, you don't ask the people y'all want to be ruled over. No, you do it and they're going to follow. Bro, so it's not going to happen that way here. Uh, it's, it's not going to happen cool for us. Well, well, I mean, so you, cool. you work with those people who want that. That's you really can't do yeah. that. But that's why I asked the question. You just that's why I asked the question. But this is not most really society. Wants to so, that so, was my question. But this is not most of society, so you don't expect it here. You see what I'm saying? So why that's are you getting all disappointed? Yeah, that's the thing. Because <laughs> y'all killing my hope once again. <laughs> but, but my point is, is <laughs> my, my, my point is, the Sharia is not made for believers. It's made for the common folk. Cause they they need no, it ain't a believer. Need no, I'm saying I, 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 this this is what I mean. I mean the right if I'm gonna be a believer in the last field, where I'm at, I'm not gonna violate the law. Yeah, that's right. right. The common folks are. So the Sharia is made for them. Somebody gonna get whipped publicly. So they go, oh, I don't want to do with that. That's what it's made I mean, for. You mean the Hudu? The Hudu. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I'm saying the common folks always gonna go against the green because that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? That's well, so you don't give them my options. Just likely just don't even know any better. There's like yeah, the problems, know. you know. Yeah, right, yeah, but, yeah right, right. but um, women got too much power as it is, man. In my opinion, you know women don't. I don't even want. I won't get into all that. But <laughs> that's what I'm saying. My opinion. I think they power need to be stripped. That's just about my opinion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Turn it off. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, need to be stripped. I you know what I'm saying? I'm being serious, man. I don't care. There's a whole other, you know what I mean? They got too many opinions, they're too opinionated, they're going to be stupid. You know what I'm saying? But if we are going to establish something like that, the first thing we're not, we're not going to just be asking, you know what I mean? Since just do they want it. You know? No, I wasn't. I wasn't. They wouldn't even respect that. Yeah, he was saying, like, 
even if, even if we did have that established with y'all agreed just to see what they would yeah, say. Yeah, right, just to be said, I get it. And they were, they were like, no. I, I had a conversation. So it's like, you ain't even gonna have a respect for the shape. You get, and he giving you a, a, a I mean, they're more than helping me, you know what I mean? No, no, that's not, the problem with people is, is that you'll give them something that they would say, they not gonna listen to you because it's against what they how they feel. No, no, they no, gonna go find this. some high deep that say that they can't. No, no, what is the reason they not is because it isn't real power. Like they only respect the real power. Yeah. They don't care about like, like it was like the official but, law of the land. Yeah, well, that's, that's what, what I mean. That's yeah, how people will respect legislation. Uh, yeah, they would. Yeah. But but here's my point. Like my thing is what we're talking as a community about is making establishing things for our community. People got to be willing to do that. Yeah, first. Right. And, Like at the end of the day, like if if all this stuff is measured by your taco, because if you don't, you know, I could I could I could go and that ain't gonna work. That that's why it's it not working. Work. That's <laughs> my whole point. It's not working it's not because there's no accountability. It don't exactly. You know what I mean? So so if if you're at home and you. You but, to lock your wife 30 times, you're like, man. But I'm saying, like, that joint, that community you talking about, that actually, has, it kind of works. Because you got people isolated in the little village, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, like, and, like, and, and they believe, okay, this is like daughter of Islam. Like, I gotta, I have to do this for, for the good of my, my dean. And, like, if they decide to leave, whatever. Yeah, like, the ain't way, worried about it. But if you're gonna be here, you gotta live according all to right, it. the way where I was at, like, all right, this is how I went. You had to report in. You get it? Like yeah. all of the members mm -hmm. of the Dawah Center had to report in at a certain time right then. So we would call in nigga like hey, so and so and I'm just calling in. Now when you would come to the Dawah Center, CJ and you know, used to go there, we would write your name in the book. Mm -hmm. Like a legend. Mm -hmm. And see, make sure you came in. Why was that there for reasons that that, that was security reasons and somebody sat on the desk while everybody else was in the print. Mm -hmm. You get it? So somebody had the man the desk because of events that had happened previously in New York where Joker was trying to run up in the mansion and shoot people up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they had security measures for that. Then, like, from Ari Salat, somebody had a desk duty. I had a desk duty. You get it? So for us, I would have had to beat it. If I didn't come for us, you know what happened? I would have to pay $25. That was my penalty for not appearing for us to set up. You get it? Yeah. This is how I grew up in the yeah, Dawah yeah. Center that had structure like that. Yeah. So I know how y'all feel when, when you somewhere else and it ain't a structure there. You get it? And it's like, what, what is going on here? You get yeah. it? Like, I'm not used to that. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying to y'all. Like, it, it, it ain't, it's, it's unfamiliar to me to see some, some things run the way, that, the way they are where you can have it run real smooth because everybody knew they role. Meaning like you knew you had Fudger and Lord, right? I had Mugrib and Asia. That way somebody was always there for the for the uh monster to be open. You get it? And, and you would have to sign in. That's how we knew that you was there. Yeah. And it, it was like that. That's just one of the portions that I'm getting to on how it was run at a, a particular time. The camera can't see me, can it? Caesar? No. Yes it can. That's good. Oh yeah, this Mm hmm? Hold on. Look at all the ways you're going to say what you think shit you got to say. So that's the type of thing I think we got to, like, like, I don't know. I, I got some real crazy yeah, so, ideas. So, so people, like, people didn't want to miss the uh, desk duty because, like, I ain't paying that $25. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they would come for that reason. In the grand scheme of things, man, all of this starts with purification of the heart. Well, that's real work, man. Everybody got It's one of two ways. You build the structure. And then people can purify the heart because of the structure, or you purify the heart first, then build the structure. It's like it all works hand in hand. Because like none of this that we talking about gonna work if, if people say they don't want shedding on that. That's just like ridiculous. That's what I'm saying. That's the basic fundamentals. Like if you don't want to be led by Islamic government, then you need to check yourself. Are you really believing in Islam? Are you really believing in the law? Because that's the very essence of this whole religion is the is the the shedding that's going back to what Yasir was saying about people don't people want to do what they want. This, but see, this one saying this so has never been in religion. Like this that. never been in religion because are they need to understand Leave that hellfire alone. is real. Leave them alone. Hellfire is real. Mm -hmm. Punishment in the grave is real. That's just reality to it. If you don't believe that, that's fine. But the reality is definitely real. I see Muslims who move from Islamic countries because they don't want to the the the. the uh, 
the pressure of Salah. You gotta pray five times a day. They don't right there. They're gonna move to America where they can go to the suburbs and not be accountable. Those type of people will not fix. That's just the bottom line. And they, they, they borderline might not even be Muslim. I'm dead serious. Like, Islam is not a game. This is not a joke. You see what I'm saying? This is something that I won't grow unless I put time in myself and learning the Fatiha and learning the, the Tasha hood. You see what I'm saying? This ain't the religion where you can just lollygag and. No, because no, it's right, accountability. Right, you're speaking from a point where you see the importance of it. Whereas though some, some of them people hasn't got to that level yet of seeing what you see. You and I might But it's, it's, it's all about the Prophet was asked, what is Islam? And what his answer was? All right, well, I, what was his answer? Sincerity. To who? To Allah's messenger, the leaders, and the comments. That's all it is. But all right, If you're not sincere, you're not going to be a good Muslim. But the Prophet said so also so said, to, he said the Sahabi named Hakam uh, ibn uh, Izam, Radi Allah died attitude to Najran, right? This was the lady, this was during the year of delegations, right? Mm -hmm. He sent him there to help teach the people, right? Because they mm -hmm. were newly converted, some of them wasn't. Mm -hmm. So he said, uh, know that you will never, you you will find, you will, he said, know that you will find people that can, can't do everything that I told you to do. Mm -hmm. But Hardy, bring them close. You get it? Like bring them close to do. Yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna be some people that stragglers. It's gonna be some people. I that agree with down. that. Gonna... I agree with that. I really do. But we're talking about people who moving from a country because they don't want to mix a lot. You understand know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not speaking. I'm, I'm being serious. Like we're talking about people who he asks, "Do you want to be ruled by Shady?" I know you want me. That that that's not an option. You see what I'm saying? Never in the see. This the problem. Right, is, wait, wait. The problem with that argument is that. All the people were from here. They wasn't from another country that came in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. These mm -hmm. are people that's here. Yeah. See, our yeah. problem is, is the fit of, of options and comfortability. Well, I tell you, I'm not afraid to say I don't have the answers. That's for sure. I definitely don't have the answers. But I, I, I need those, that, that congregation, this, this oh, member. Man. Man. I need them. I'm going to make do out for that. So I, I, I want to make it serious. It's like, well, Seriously, man, because you about saying some serious stuff. Right? You saying, when I tell a person don't talk about alcohol in the Juma, I, that might be comfort. I, like, because I'm, I'm actually believe it's, it's halal. I got to believe it's halal. You know what I'm saying? He may know we say, if I buy the cheeseburger that's halal and say bismillah, that's kufr, because I'm making this cheeseburger halal, that's halal. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. If I purposely tell you don't talk about alcohol and the law mentions that in the Quran, then I, I mean, I might like it's Like, because what am I, what am I saying? Like, what am I compromising? Mike, what am, what am I saying? Like, what is the motivation behind that? And I've been doing this for years, oh, man. Who can't be serious, man? Like, that's laughing too much. Can you imagine on the day of judgment? What type of question that would be along with asking a person? You told this man five years in a row, don't talk about alcohol. Then you got rid of him and got another dude to do the same thing, man. Think about that. That's serious. And the people can't receive the message to make them feel bad. Because that's Islam, you feel remorse. Like, oh, he said he's talking to me. You see what I'm saying? He's yeah, talking to me to make you want to change. Listen, I don't think it's just, I don't think it's just the board, the people too, will be complaining like, yo, man, this dude keep talking about my livelihood. You get it? But forget what they thinking though. Forget them. I'm talking about the people you know that's in America. But the ways. people always want to complain. You see what yeah. I'm saying? But sometimes they're going to feel bad about it and they're going to keep thinking about it. You know why? Because they don't want to change. But if you yeah. keep talking about it, they're going to change. Yeah. That's Islam. You keep talking about something, you're right, right, you right. You're right. Because right. I mean, I mean, they're going to feel bad. Because when you tell somebody the truth, they may not accept it, but they're going to be home thinking about it. Like, I'm going to hell if I keep doing this. You see what I'm saying? That's why you, Allah says, remind the believers just in case the reminder benefits the believers. That's why you, but if you don't remind them, you're going against that ayat, because you're not reminding them, you're telling them about, I don't know what you're talking, what are you talking about then? I, I, I don't know. If you give people a list of things not to talk about because of livelihood, then this whole thing is a sham, right? But it did, did, didn't they man actually tell you that? And this is what yeah. they were told. Yeah, he told me, subhanAllah. That, 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 that. No, no, he, I, it, I'm not saying it was right, is it? The reason why they told him, yeah, and he's not the only one. Yeah, that yeah. happened to multiple imams yeah. in that masjid because in this city, all the people, or well not all, but a lot of the people yeah, who was right. on that board of that masjid are store store owners, mm -hmm. casino workers, politicians. So their their thing is 
like I, I, I remember the imam that was there before this guy. He, he used to tell them all the time, yo, you gotta stop selling drug paraphernalia in your, in your stores. You gotta stop selling cigarettes. And, mm -hmm. and after they stepped in and say, yo, stop saying that. Cause you offending the people who are actually paying the bills at this marriage street. Yeah. <laughs> well that marriage shit is based on haram. And that marriage shit, everybody might be going somewhere, man. At the end of the day. Because the prophet says those who sell alcohol haram, those who prepare yeah. alcohol uh, are yeah. cursed, those who like, everybody curse. But that, that puts the man in a tough situation. Mm -hmm. you know, where, where they, you know, no, I don't the think one, it's the one, man fault. The one, the one guy quit. You yeah, know what I mean? It's not fair for them to put him in a put any man in a situation. No, I don't think it's the man fault. I think it's the administration. Yeah, Whoever is telling them that, they're the problem. That's like, that's really, really. What's your charge? What's your charge? That's really, uh, so they have to Wait, go. What's the email for? What's the other No, no, we're not. <laughs> no, we're saying that when the email is told, don't talk about certain things, that's not his fault. The administration is their yeah, fault. That's, that's that's right. and, and I don't blame the people because they don't know no better. They ignorant. They want to keep doing what they're doing. You see what I'm saying? It's the people at the top fault because you won't allow the email to do what he needs to do. That, that's that's a major. Yeah, that's, the, that's the whole structure, man. It's like, um, you right. know, the email yeah, is just yeah, there yeah, to yeah, do yeah. a particular yeah. job. You know, for, for first of all, salary. first of all, some of them dudes mm -hmm. come here just for money only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what you gotta understand. They doing to waff around money. And they mm -hmm. wonder why the kids don't. That's why around. we can't have our matches based them. off of corporations, man. Because corporation, the bottom line is the bottom line. Man, shit, our bottom line is supposed to be saving souls, right, and helping people. If we're not doing that, this whole man shit is 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 not doing the job that the law put it here to do. At all, we we what are we doing? At the end of the day, man, the dead judgment gonna be terrifying mm -hmm. for a lot of people. Cause I can't be one of those people that know this is going on and not speak out on it. Cause I can't change it, obviously. So I'm gonna definitely speak out on every chance I get. Bottom line, I wish I, I'm glad I don't know the names of the matches. I would definitely put them out there like that. They are destroying the community. <laughs> Because that's the only way it's going to change. There has to be some type of pressure, some type of accountability. Like these people are operating behind closed doors like this for years. People don't know this is going on. I definitely didn't know this is going on. This is crazy. That's definitely crazy. How are you going to change the community if you tell these men don't talk about alcohol? Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? I'm talking about alcohol. Like, I didn't even know people was drinking. I assumed that we wasn't drinking. So now I know we drinking and selling beer. Like, what's going on with that? Oh, yeah, you ain't uh, no, you ain't no, uh, um, like, loud. Coming here selling alcohol, but no, I didn't know that. But that's why I said you gotta go back to the reason, like, what's the day and this you need out for coming here? I don't know what I missed, but I think as a solution, we need an Islamic bank. Yeah, yeah, we need an Islamic bank. That's what I keep saying. How you establish Islamic bank? I just want to go to the people who you know can do it, but I think we need to do that because finances is going to be the that's going to be the biggest I think, thing. I think when he, when Yashir yeah, said that, it's, it's like, it, I know, like if I know twenty dollars is coming on a check, I would get used to that. You get it, and it's that's, that's what we were talking about last week when um, when we had the little business networking thing. That that that, that that's what me and Malika was talking about doing. Like, how do we establish a, a Muslim-owned credit union? You know, the, the the reality. That's why I'm saying you gotta. Look at it from a global aspect because it's not going to be one of them things where you think, oh, we only doing business with Muslims. No, we do business with everyone, but it's to benefit the Muslims. Yeah. Like, that's what a credit union is. A credit union is, is built up to, to, to benefit a certain community of people. You know, not like ethnically, but like Ocean City Home Bank or South Jersey how, Credit how, Union. How do you open one? I, I don't know. But <laughs> like, I'm sure we can find out because so those who have the expertise, that's, 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 that's what we're doing, man. We're doing Islamic financing, you know, a bank or credit union, and all our uh, immigrant Muslims put that money up. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't have <laughs> we ain't talking about all that. Because you know, what he's saying is like the immigrant Muslims. I know a lot of them. A lot of them don't work. Them jokes, honestly. Hey, I work with whoever. Say you presented something to me. I mean, as far as like the one who runs it is in control of it. No, we have to run it. That's yeah, it. they just gotta fund it. No, yeah. I'm saying like, say with them is like they want, they might want to get a building. I see this happening all the time, man. I see that 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 want to get a building that's like condemned or something to fix it up. 
they go to the, the to them and they'll be like, uh, I'm trying to buy it and they give me the money. Like, how much is it? Fifty thousand? Oh, oh man. God. Like we don't have that. We don't have that See, I, I got I, I really, 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 really want to get out of having that, man. Like I, I don't even want to I don't even try to sound mad racist or nothing like that, but like that that's just that's the way we see it. Like, that's just where we see right like now. Like, what I had my hand back. Yeah, yeah. yeah I you really know, like stuff, man. man. Like, you bring you going to the table, you got to go with, you know, with something. You know what's crazy? Because... You know, that was the one thing I tell you, that boy Elijah Muhammad, for real. Like, they, everybody respected him. Because it's like, you know, he, he, he got stuff. He not coming to ask nobody for that. That's what I was going to say. If you read history in the 60s, right? When the immigration influx came in, who do you think they was asking for up then? It wasn't a white man. Where's the African American? I know that personally from some of my uncles how they used to help them when they came in. Mm. I, I used to tell their stories. That, that as African American, helping them money. get the stores on Atlantic Avenue and helping them get the EBT things and stuff. Yeah, honestly, it ain't like we don't have money. Like that's a, that's a false notion that African American black people don't have money. That's bullcrap. We don't come up with our money. You know what I mean? Like you, the average one of us, if you just looked at our wardrobe and the worst of our wardrobe versus the average. Pakistani and stuff like that. He, he blew them up there. You know what you know, make it bad? Water. This is what make it bad, right? Here you got a city where the majority is black. And 50% of the city is Muslim. Right? Atlantic City. Right. 50% right? of the Atlantic City is Muslim? Yeah. But look, look, at, look at this. I don't know. Listen, the rest listen. Of the population. 50%, right? Really? Yeah. And look, right? right. The, the smallest percentage, the minority out of that is the... the the foreigners, the Pakistanis, the Indians, yeah. and the Bangladeshi, right? Now narrow that down. They was inside a black masjid, putting their money together, and went and got their own, and still got income coming in. But here we had a black masjid, and, so long, and we don't have no bank. We don't know, don't know what to do with it, man. So this type of stuff, I, I don't even want you to put this on Facebook. Now, this is embarrassing, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right on, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> It, it can be fixed. If it, it, it starts with small groups of people, we're willing to, you got to start somewhere. somewhere. Yeah, you definitely got to start somewhere. And this starts by talking about issues. Maybe somebody with more knowledge and more resources can do something.